Well, as the sun goes down earlier each day, you may have noticed a slight shift in your mood lately. Well, it's called seasonal affective disorder, and it can actually be very serious. Well, here's Dr. Pyle Coley with information that can help. Dr. Coley, it's always so great to have you here on set. How are you? I'm doing great, Danny. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. All right, so we're talking about something that I think affects a lot of people. You know, we're starting to get into the winter months. It's getting darker earlier. Mm -hmm. It's chilly outside. Let's talk about seasonal affective disorder. What exactly is this? So seasonal affective disorder is essentially feelings of hopelessness, depression mm -hmm. that correlate with seasonal changes. Sure. And in particular, they correlate with light changes. So just as you pointed out, because the days are getting shorter, there's a receptor in our brain that's sensitive to light. And when it has less exposure to that light, it actually changes the chemical environment in our brain and it can make us feel sad, hopeless, down and depressed. And it happens to a lot of Americans. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, so many people think that this could be something that maybe is just a daily thing or something that's happening during the week, but it could just be a full seasonal, you know, affective disorder that they're dealing with. How exactly is this diagnosed? So the idea is that your mood changes have to follow a little bit of the seasonal pattern. Sure. And they can actually be an opposite disorder as well, where you could have it more in the summer and less in the winter. But this one is much more common because of that light sensitivity. And then the other piece of it for the diagnosis is that you have to have had it for at least two years. So if you're somebody who tends to feel a little down in the winter, a little depressed, it's cold outside, it's dark, you really want to ask yourself, is this more than just the winter blues? Is this a seasonal affective disorder? And have I had it more than one year? Sure. Well, let's talk about treatment too. I mean, is there something that people can do when it comes to having this disorder? How do they get out of that funk? Yeah, well, so one thing we've realized is that light exposure is really important. So natural right, light exposure. So try to work by a window, try to get some a natural sunlight, of course, with that sunscreen on yeah. during the day. You know, try to obviously do some of the other things that we know help our mood, like um, exercise. Right. So getting 30 minutes of exercise every day, getting a good night's rest, eating a well-balanced diet. Those are all important things. When that doesn't work, there's actually something called light therapy, okay. where they give you a little box of light, huh. and you sit by that light for 30 to 60 minutes a day every morning and it triggers that receptor in your brain to really help restore some of that balance okay. and then in very severe cases you want to talk to your doctor f about starting an antidepressant or something just to help you you know get through that winter sure and if it isn't quite uh, too you know that depressive disorder and it's maybe just the winter blues at that point would you recommend kind of following the same uh, advice absolutely and in fact even uh, what's called cognitive behavioral therapy which uh -huh. is essentially talking to your brain I like to call it gaslighting your brain. Yeah, totally. You sort of <laughs> keep telling yourself positive messaging right. and you try to rearrange the networks that have generated in your brain. So if you keep reinforcing positive messaging, the brain will start wiring those neurons together sure. and actually give you that positive messaging back through chemicals and neurotransmitter changes. Wow, I love, you gotta love the science behind it that, is. guys. Yeah. You can just it's really, incredible. yeah, you convince yourself and you're finally just happy, you bring yourself out of it. Well, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for being here on the show. Always great to have you. She's making us happy too, guys. Love, that. love that. <laughs> thank you, Danny. Sure. And take care of yourself this winter and check in on your mental health. And Quest Diagnostics is your home for all things medical. Head to 9health365.org to make an appointment.